Well, good afternoon, everyone. As I come to you today, I hope everybody's doing well. And I hope that, uh, that health is in your body and that strength is in your bones and that understanding is in your mind and that you have eyes to see and ears to hear. Now, that being said, I thought a lot today about this video. Been on a fast, and uh, me and my wife are fasting for a couple of days here, and uh, we believe in it according to the Word of God. Now, you may not, and that's fine, but uh, we do, so therefore we do it. But as you'll notice in the background, predominantly what you'll see is weapons. And uh, in seeing those weapons, I want you to understand something. Uh, the reason I keep putting them out there in a lot of videos of mine is because, number one, I do believe that we must have the weapons, first and foremost because of the physical evil that exists today around the globe. But number two, predominantly, me living in America, I believe that I need them because of the evil that exists in America. Now, probably, I don't know what it would be titled yet, but probably a hypocritical double standard exists. And it may be that title, I don't know yet, but uh, I want you to really focus, as I talk to you for a minute, on what's sitting on your screen the weapons that are that are sitting there what they consist of you have uh, a Bushmaster 450 with a bipod on it okay with a panther grip you have an AR-15 okay with a hundred round magazine and then you have a 12 gauge Mossberg foldable stock <clears throat> with a synthetic holder that holds just a few extra rounds, JIC, just in case. Now, understand clearly, the very state that I live in allows the freedom that is in front of you and that you are looking at. Now, let's stop for a minute at the weapons. I've got a lot of other stuff to cover. But let's just focus on those weapons for just a minute. Okay. If we, if we want to go back to biblical times, and when I, what I mean by biblical times is during the times it was being written, okay? Okay. God did not ban weapons, okay? God knew that because of physical evil, evil people on this earth, that we would need those weapons. Okay, let's move from the biblical times to the founding of our nation. Obviously, the founding fathers that left and come across the old big pond knew that we would need weapons, correct? Why? Because of evil people. Now, it's sort of hard to put a label on who's evil and who's not. Because there's such a broad spectrum of evil, we have to look and think of things in their context. Okay? Now, evil is the very opposite of good. Okay? Okay? It is good to be able to go to your local market or your store and to be able to buy your goods in safety and not have to worry about anyone snatching your purse or snatching your child. And the list goes on and on. But having said that, that being already brought to the forefront, there are people that want to snatch your children. There are people that want to snatch your purse. There are people that want to take what you have honestly earned Okay, and attained. And those that want to take what has been given to you or earned by you, those people are evil. Okay? Now, now we're getting into a broad spectrum of things, aren't we? Yes, we are. 
The reason I said it the way I said it, ladies and gentlemen, was because I want to bring a great point out today that needs to be that needs to be reiterated and brought to the forefront of where we are at today as a society and as a nation and as individual family units. Now, the thing of the thing about evil is it it crosses all the boundaries. The thing about evil is it, it knows no boundaries. The very three things that evil feeds on is killing, stealing, and destroying. Okay? Now, the question I'm going to ask you what about and what is? those people and those things that want to kill, steal, and destroy from you and from your family. Now back for a moment to the Constitution and the Bible. Now if, if you have any kind, of, uh, any kind of understanding and knowledge about you and ears to hear and eyes to see, you can understand that anything and everything that wants to what? Encroach, take away, and destroy you, your children, your wife, your belongings that you bought and purchased with your own hard-earned money. These entities, these people, are evil. Okay? We're drawing a, we're drawing a comparison here to what's good and what's evil. Okay? Now, under the very Constitution of the United States, under the amendments thereof, under the Bible, I have the very right to have what you're looking at on the screen right now. Everything I have is legal because of the Second Amendment and the Bible. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree that the things that I have are to protect against the thief, the thug, and the tyranny that would destroy the liberty, the life, and the pursuit of happiness that all men being created evil, I mean equal, have the right to do, but the evil of the men want to take that from you and I. This should, be, this should be cast in stone and put in concrete in your mind and in your heart to understand that you do not have to buy a weapon. That is a, that is a God-given right to you to not buy a weapon. That is a given right to you under the Constitution. You don't have to buy a weapon. But at the same time, you also do not have the right to tell me or anyone else that has a weapon that they cannot own a weapon when they are law-abiding citizens. Therefore, instead of wasting my time arguing with a fool or multitudes of fools, I just let them go on and let them go to their destruction and let them depend on the very, the very, the very government that wants to destroy them, and, and let them go ahead. But with that being said, understand this: there will be no more arguments, because if I argue with a fool, I become a fool myself. And I've learned that through fasting today and reading the Word of God, that if I argue with a fool, I become that very fool that is arguing with me. Forgive me, YouTubers, for becoming a fool and making a video or two to try to defend myself and what I'm about. There's a difference in defending yourself and arguing with a fool and becoming a fool, and part two will be coming up.